Jackson? If not, he was a professional football player for the Oakland Raiders. During his professional career, he suffered a career-ending injury. During this play, he fractured and dislocated his hip, ending his short-lived greatness. This injury can also closely be related to the injury of Tua Tagovailoa of the University of Alabama Crimson Tide. With just these two examples, you can see how one play and one injury can affect an athlete's career. Unity Point Health says that three of the most common injuries are first being the hip flexor strain. It's on the upper front side of your leg, as stated right there. Uh, this injury is caused by running, sprinting, quick stops, and sharp turns. To uh, recover from these injuries, you should ice for 15 minutes, and then eat for 15 minutes, and re repeat the process until the pain goes away. Next is the ACL tear, which is right there. Uh, the ACL is also called the the technical term is the anterior cruciate ligament. It's located in your knee, and it often it requires surgery, so you'll be out for the rest of your sports season. And you, it requires therapy to get fully recovered. Next is, as most athletes have probably suffered through, is shin splints. Most don't like it, a lot of people don't like it. Uh, this is the most common injury in athletes. I can't, can't tell you an athlete that hasn't suffered from shin splints. It's the muscle on the outside of your calf, right along your shin, so about right here. One of these injuries was one of the one, one is one of the injuries that I suffered through. Uh, it was a torn ACL on September 8th, 2017, during the 2017 football season. We were having a tough game, as we did that whole year. Um, but we got stopped on a tough third down, and we ended up punching the ball away. And me, the small guy I think I am, was I found the biggest dude on the field as a 6'5", 270 pound guy. And I hit him and my knee hyperextended back and all I could hear was a sharp pop and a large, very sharp pain. And I had to be carried off the field and I was out for that game, obviously. Um, I couldn't, they wouldn't tell me what it was, but I heard what Mr. Callahan said to my dad, he said it was it was definitely my ACL, but three days later, on the next following Monday, I went to have an MRI done, and I went into a room and saw results, and there's two ligaments in your knee. There's the PCL, which is the posterior cruciate ligament, and the ACL, and there was only one in there. So that was pretty tough on me. And then three days later, I got a call from the doctors and they had told me that I wouldn't be playing football for the rest of the season and that I would have to get surgery immediately. <clears throat> that Thursday I had went up into Fargo and my surgeon, Philip Q. Johnson, said that I had suffered one of the toughest injuries an athlete could go through. Uh, after surgery, this is my knee after surgery, it's a lot of blood and punctures, yeah. And after surgery, I had to immediately start physical therapy, which was with Lucas Pope. He's a therapist in town for Essential Hope. And he told me that I'd be out for sports and possibly starting of next year's football season. But with hard determination and a lot of effort, I ended up making it back, getting a full recovery, as most athletes do when they suffer this injury. So, 
seeing how much my injury affected me, here are three of the hardest injuries to, that an athlete can recover from. Teddy Wilson, a physical therapist in Texas, says that a torn ACL, which takes eight to 12 months to recover, is one of the toughest ones. It provides 90% of the stability in your leg. <clears throat> and most athletes have a tough time recovering from this injury these days. Um, three athletes that have suffered a torn ACL are Tom Brady, Adrian Peterson, and Carson Wentz. Next, we have the UCL, which is the ulnar collateral ligament. It's located in your elbow. Um, it normally happens to baseball players because when you're throwing a baseball, your elbow is mostly strained. So the human body wasn't created to throw a ball in the upper 90 miles per hour. So when this, in the 1970s, there was a pitcher, and his name was Tommy John, <clears throat> and there was a doctor that he found that wanted to do an experimental surgery to see if it would help fix his UCL. Um, he agreed to do the surgery and ended up coming back and being one of the best pitchers in the league at the time. Since then, most pitchers would like to have UCL surgery because it helps them a lot. Some of the, some players that have had UCL surgery are Jose Fernandez, Steven Strasburg, and Matt Harvey. They're all pitchers currently in the league still, except for Jose Fernandez, which he passed away, unfortunately. Next, we have the fractured fractured vertebrae, which is the hardest injury to recover from because the vertebrae supports every moving limb in your body. So fracturing that, you're basically paralyzing yourself for however long it takes to recover. Uh, three injuries that have suffered, or three athletes that have suffered from this injury are Michael Irvin, Tony Romo, and Cam Newton. Every injury has an effect on an athlete, no matter how hard it is, even if you're just stubbing your toe or tearing your ACL, every injury has an effect. So, do injuries really affect athletes? The answer can be both yes and no, but recovery sounds easy, but it's not as easy as it seems. And they always have a lasting effect on athletes. 